This video forms part of a larger series of videos which walks you through how to use Zotero to manage your library and your references in Microsoft Word. Links to the rest of the videos in the series are pasted in the description below. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate a bibliography in Microsoft Word when you've added references using Zotero. The reason why we are able to automate these references is because Microsoft Word is speaking to the desktop app, but it is not speaking to the desktop app for all the text that we've included in the Word document, only the text fields which have been created by Zotero. So if I highlight my text, you'll see that some of my text is now gray. Those are basically automatic fields inserted by Microsoft Word. The first rule with this is never to manually edit those fields. But the second thing is that Zotero can only give you information based on what is highlighted. So you will see, for instance, that I have Bud Lender in my Zotero library, but Bud Lender is not actually cited in this document. So when I include my bibliography, Bud Lender won't be included in my bibliography. Only the references that I've included in this Word document will come out in my bibliography. To insert your bibliography, you thus first have to insert references using Zotero. If you have no Zotero fields in your document, then Zotero won't know what information to use to create a bibliography and you'll basically just get a blank space. When you are ready to add your bibliography, usually we add some sort of title or heading for the bibliography. You can put your cursor wherever you want the bibliography to come out. And then you can click on the add bibliography button. Basically, Zotero has now created a list of the two references that we've actually included in this document. If we need to include additional references into the document, Zotero will automatically update the list. Let me demonstrate. So you'll see that I've added Bud Lender to the sentence and now Bud Lender has been added to my bibliography list. As I highlight this, you can also see that these text fields are highlighted in gray. This means that this text was automatically generated by Zotero. Again, you don't want to make any manual edits to this. If you need to make an edit, so if you find, for instance, that you've incorrectly captured a date, do not edit it in the Word document go back to the reference in your library and change it here. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to change the citation style in the Word document.